what's going on? It is Amy again with Bargain Mama and, oh yeah, turn your music off, turn it off before I get, and, uh, Troy, yeah, my oldest son, so, he almost fell in the pool, <laughs> it would have been hilarious, so anyways, guys, we are doing this from outside, I think it's next Friday, yes, not this coming Friday, the 23rd, May 23rd, is my one year, and I hit 700, my goal is to hit 500 by one year, so I hit 700 in less than a year. I'm so excited. So I have a small part of my giveaway here. And the reason my son is here is he says it is not even good enough for one year. So he's going to help me show you what my idea of a good giveaway is. And I'm going to send this out. And then he's going to come up with his own giveaway that I have to do. I told him, don't put me on the spot. He said, it's $100 for 100 days. I said, no, that would be $365 for a year. And I'm not doing that. So if he puts me on the spot right now, he may not have a place to live anytime soon. So anyways, let's, I'm going to add more stuff to this, but this is what I'm going to do for my one year giveaway right now. It's going to be all coffee related. So go ahead and pick something up, Troy, and show him what it is. You want to tell him? It's an oven mitt. Yeah, it's an oven mitt. It says, wake up and smell the coffee. Yeah. It's kind of cute. Yeah, see? Kind of cute. So there is one of the things. To go with that, I got two. If you've seen some of my Dollar Tree hauls, you've seen um, that these were in there. So these are two pot holders that have the exact same thing. And it says, wake up and smell the coffee also. And then, actually, I think this is matching, right? Yeah. Wake up and smell the coffee. What is it though? Uh, it's like a kitchen towel. <laughs> you had to look at the Very labels. Festive. That was a kitchen towel. So here's a kitchen towel. So then I, okay. So then I got this. All you need is love and coffee. It is 60 pages. And it is a little note pad with the um, magnetic on the back. So of course, because it's coffee themed, it's going in there. And then, my bad. Uh, <laughs> coffee themed pens. It's like they're upside down but it's okay I mean they still get the idea what pens look like so those were a big thing in the Dollar Tree so I got those to go with our list pad the three coffee pens thank you and then these two go together kind of I didn't realize it was holding that up so you hold one and I'll hold one so I got these a while ago these are not from Dollar Tree these are little wall hangings yeah so they're little wall hangings that can go on your coffee bar or whatever with little lattes and coffee cups because of course those go with and they're like ceramic so that's really awesome and then i got this coffee cup it says all you need is no that side says nothing so it's only one sided it says all you need is love and coffee i really love the color and it's got like the brownish on it it's white on the inside so i thought that was really cute to go with my theme and there's one more thing it's a stamper. Yeah. It says, um, what does that say? Turn it it's, over. It's backwards. So yeah, it's, but. It's mis oh. Thank, uh, thanks a latte. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, see? Isn't it? I mean, it's not that dumb of a giveaway. He does not like my giveaway idea. So I'm going to add a couple more things. I'll probably add like a bag of Dunkin' Donuts coffee or Starbucks coffee or something. And then a couple more things. Yes, I will. And so that is my idea for the one year giveaway. And now, what is your... I don't have an idea I yet. Thought you were supposed to have an idea by the time the video came. I know. I didn't. Well, we're three, four minutes into this video. <laughs> so you better figure something out. Um, I couldn't... Oh, I do have this very fancy hat. No. Okay, no. He's trying to give hat. away, I call it my ocean hat. He's trying to give away my ocean hat. No, that is not going up. Like, it's my only big floppy, I guess, like, um, Kentucky Derby kind of hat. He's trying to give that away. It's not happening. It's pretty cool. It's not his fancy hat. It's my hat, and it's not going in the giveaway. It's exactly why I told him to pre-think this. What else do you think should be? Um, you can give them I some think options. That, yeah, I think that... Um... Give them some options because we're I actually really like going to thing, we're going to do the giveaway on May 23rd, which is my one year. Sorry, I'm trying to see what my dog is doing. Is she? Oh, she's getting sick. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys probably wanted to hear that. Is that Belle? Yeah, I think so. So, this is 
uh, yeah, so May 23rd is when I'm going to do the drawing. So give them a couple ideas because you can't say coffee. You already said it was a dumb idea and that was mine. And we have to do two giveaways now. Okay, so. so. Hmm, what's very festive right now? Have you guys ever like told your kids be ready like and have something in mind like hours ago and then they come out and they're like, oh, uh, was I supposed to do something? Yeah, it's summer. So um, we could do like some sort of a summer giveaway, but I don't know like we what. Could do lottery tickets. Okay. Ooh. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. My son is, I don't know if I've told you guys before. So he he's the one that just turned 21, got stuck in Houston, is a mess. We should do, we should do like 25 lottery tickets. 25. 50. 50. 50 lottery tickets, $50 in lottery tickets, because some could be like $5, some could be $2, but if we just do $51 ones, it's your idea, okay. or 50 whatever ones. Well, that's the option they get then. That'll be the option that they want, like... $51 ones or different yeah, denominations. Different. When you gamble, like what Like what do you do? Do you win a lot, by when the way? I, when I gamble, I get the $3 cards. And so do you get like the same ones or do you like two of this I, one, two of this one, two of this one? I personally only play one. If they don't have, it's called Twisted. And that's like the only one that I really play. But if they're, if they don't have that one, because sometimes like they don't have it, I'll get like a, like a $5 card or something. So five, three to five. I don't usually get the ones. One you don't dollar. get, how, do you ever win? Yeah. I win $5 all the time. Hmm. Like I probably won as much as I've spent. But I haven't cashed them in. That's the problem. I just have but a you, there's in. a time limit on cashing them in. I know, remember? I yeah. Was with you guys, right? So yeah. you better cash them in. So, anyways, yeah, he's the one that just turned 21, and um, since he can't really drink right now, apparently he has found a second vice, and it would be gambling. And every time I get in his car, I go in his room, anything, I see scratched lottery tickets. Like he's addicted. And you go to the casino? I've only been to the casino one time, but I wanted to go tonight. Actually, are you trying to go to the casino tonight? And what, what do you play at the casino? Blackjack. Guys, he thinks he's a professional and all he does is make everyone mad at the blackjack tables. Everyone mad. Why do you make him mad? I didn't know that there was a blackjack etiquette rule. <laughs> if for anyone that gambles, if you, if you have been to like the tables, it's no joke. Like it's like bingo. Like they're not playing around. And him and his friends go and they're just like, oh yeah, hit me, don't hit me. Like they just do whatever they want. They're young and 21 and people get so irate at them because they're not following apparently the etiquette i don't know what it is because they want us to hit on like 12 and 14 and i know like why that he's gonna bust i don't know it's gonna yeah so people get mad so they get mad because they bust and i'm like why don't they just follow your lead but apparently there is like a very severe blackjack like etiquette rule or even table etiquette rule i don't know have you ever played on any of the other tables no i've only played blackjack tables and i've only played like slots i did play on a what is that, a roulette table? Oh, yeah. Is I that, got an etiquette? Table, but it was a, a lecture for the one. Like, oh, it was like, so it was like a video, a video no, game. No, but it was weird. It, it actually had the ball spun in front of you. Hmm. Like, it was live. But there was no person. But there was a bunch of people sitting around, and they were just like, yeah. They pressed, like, everybody would bet, and then the ball would drop in. But there's no etiquette to that? No. Nah. No, blackjack people are serious. There was a dude that was, like, a guy uh, that goes there every day, I guess. And the person, the dealer that was giving us the cards were like, I know, I can't stand these kids either. <laughs> like, how rude we're is like, that? What? Like, so you guys weren't being uh, loud and obnoxious, like, no, and rude. we were winning. You were just we winning. We won. All of, all of us were up. All of us had, were leaving with more money than we came in. But you weren't, like, being loud and rude. No, that you were just we not were just, hitting when they yeah, wanted we were, you to hit. No, we weren't even sitting next to each other. Plus, it, because of COVID, there's, like, plastic between you guys. Mm -hmm. So you, so... Like me and you sitting like this, imagine there's a giant piece of plastic right here. I'm not going to talk to you because you're not going to be able to hear me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like if I want to talk to you, I got to be like, hey. Like, you know what I mean? I got to go around, hey, do you think that, how, when do you think we're going to go? Okay. Like, it's going to be simple. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not going to yell. Like, but the only person you can talk to is the dealer because there's plastic around you. So we're not being loud and obnoxious. We're not yelling to each other. You're just not hitting and you're winning and they're getting we're mad. We're winning. We're winning. I left with like $400 more than I went in with. And just my so you guys know. Won like 700 and then my friend Josh stuff like going. I went to the casino on Friday night, guys. Oh, you went and you didn't tell me? I sent you a picture. Yeah, but you weren't like, let's go to the casino, Troy. You were at work. No, oh, you didn't even tell me like, hey, Troy, I'm going to the casino on Friday. Because you guys know I'm having a hard time turning 40. 
So it is very the hard. Are tonight? you about to hit a smoker thing of tobacco on my video? It's I... no tobacco. Okay. Um, this video just took a turn. Um, anyways, um, this is definitely not under 18 appropriate now. Um, so anyways, yes, yes I did go to the casino on Friday. And I played bingo. I lost. I played a hundred dollars in slots. I lost. Did you? Mm -hmm. well, Every time. I've never go, won. Let's go tonight. I've never won. Oh, I am off tomorrow. I might go. To the, we might show you guys us at the casino tonight. I might go because I am off tonight. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm off tomorrow. Tuesdays are my only day off. This turned into like a little chit chat, but that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Yeah, it's like a chit chat that my 700 subscribers can watch and see how disoriented our family is. But yeah. we go to the casino together. Most people go to the park and play, and we go to the casino. That's cool. Hmm. But just so you guys know, we do play volleyball at the park, too. We love some volleyball. Yeah. yeah. But so I did go, like Stop I was saying, I went on Friday. I've never won at bingo. Every time we go, I don't win. Every one of my friends have won. Um, one of my friends won $250 at bingo. Didn't win again. And then the same one, Ray, she ended up, her total that night was like $1,000. Yeah, over $1,000 that she went home with. So one of the game, one of the machines I was sitting at and I was like, hey, I'd already lost all my money. I didn't want to lose anymore. I'm not one of those insane gamblers that's like trying to put my house payment on the line, right? So I had already like put all my money in, but I was sitting at a machine. It was like 11 o'clock at night. I was tired and people kept looking like they wanted my machine. And so I was like, oh man, um, I think they want me to put more money in. I'm going to go to the ATM real quick and get some just to put it in this machine. And she's like, no, here's $5. Just put that in your machine. And so I was like, well, I'm not playing your money. So she was playing her machine and then she was playing mine underneath the plexiglass like you're talking about because they have them at yeah. this casino too. She won $500 on the machine I was sitting in front of, but I didn't put money in. She won $500. It started going crazy while I was, sorry to hit you guys. It started going crazy while I was sitting there and I was like, technically you gave me that $5. Did she give you some money? No, buy you no, or no. Well, it was 11 o'clock at night. Nobody's trying to eat at 11 o'clock at night. No, that's not cool. But I no. Okay. Again. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you guys ever try to put like your grown kids on your thing? And then you're just like, man, this turned into, I don't even know what, right? But anyways, no. Um, do you have anything else you want to talk about since we're doing a chit chat? Except for the fact that you're about to get a sunburn. Why do you think that you can't sunburn? Don't go there. People might want to know. Don't go there. <laughs> okay. Don't go there. I won't say it. But he says he cannot sunburn. No, that's not true. I do get some sunburn. No. But you but you used to say you couldn't sunburn? I mean, I wouldn't call it a sunburn. I'll call it just like, just get darker. So anything else? Anything going on in your life since we're doing a chit chat now? Oh no. Is your puppy still in the room? Yeah, he's sleeping or Anna's watching him. Anna's not here. Oh, yeah. And I oh, guarantee yeah, he's you in the room, he's then. not sleeping. Yeah, he's so fine. they got a new puppy, which I call my grandson. Like we don't have enough dogs in this house and our pit bull is trying to eat the puppy so he can't come out of the room. Every time our pit bull sees him, he licks his lips and it's like, like it's like snack time. No. And like when they want a snack, they sit down. So he sits right in front of the puppy. Like I'm ready for him. Yeah. So, anything else you have to say? Mm -hmm. I'm out of here. Besides the fact that we're going to the casino tonight, are we going to go? I, I, so now I do, I now do he's have, trying to back out on me. I do have plans. Oh, yeah, at, you're going to the um, studio. Yeah, I'm taking like, at 10. At 10 p.m.? And you think I'm going to the casino after that or before that? Did you want to go before? I can't go to the casino I'm at 10 p.m. I'm dinner with Anna's grandparents at... We can go to the casino tomorrow night, too. Six. We can, go, we can go during the day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We could go to a day casino where there's not as many people there. Yeah. That's what we can do. Oh, you guys are blowing away. Um, so, anyways, yeah, we will well, let you guys know rich. if we go to this. Well, we, you have to share half of whatever you make. No. Negative. <laughs> so, we'll, let you, we'll give you guys an update if we do end up. You guys are shaking everywhere. The wind just came. Uh-oh. Look at our look yeah, at our thing. Better end it. Oh yeah, we better end bad. it because we are things are about to get bad. Yeah, so we will talk bad. to you guys later. Thanks for sticking around for our little chit chat session. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye YouTube.